Hey guys, this is SP2Boys10 here, back with a new video now. I'm doing my first q and <laughs> I uh, asked questions about a month or two ago, and, or maybe three months, I didn't look at the video itself, but I know it was a while ago, and I asked you guys to give me questions, and some of you did, and some of you gave me questions on other videos that I will put into this as well, because it kind of pertains and it's kind of important because I get those questions asked somewhat recently um, in streams and stuff and some I get asked before so let's get started the first question and I feel like this is the most important one because of what's going on right now is from Skullhead2006 and he said today all schools in my country have been shut down because of the coronavirus should I be scared because it seems the news is blowing things out of proportion um, you should not be scared at all. The last thing you should do is panic. Everything is going to be alright, and the virus will go away eventually. Um, all you have to do is take the necessary precautions. Um, stay home. Stay clean. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. All that stuff. S don't be in contact with many people. And if you are, say six feet apart or something. I think it's six feet. Um, and it's, uh, I understand it's hard to measure that. You can't, uh, bring a meter stick with you wherever you go. You can't bring a tape measure. And if you can, that'd be a really weird thing to bring. But, uh, just try to d stay a decent distance away from people. Yeah, the news is kind of making it more scary than it is. People are dying, people are passing away, people are getting infected, and that's horrible, that's really bad. Um, someone in my family, if they get the virus, they won't live through it. So, it is very serious, and it is, it is very bad. I think I just saw a news a couple days ago where an infant passed away from it. So it is serious. But, the way the news is making it is making it really, really scary and making people way more anxious and worried about it. Um, and there's a, this whole meme about the toilet paper being gone, but like, <laughs> what's everybody doing with the toilet paper? TPing the inside of their house or something? Like a whole roll can last you at least a couple days. I have, I have four people that live in my house and a roll lasts like a few days. So I don't see the problem with toilet paper but all the uh, all the toilet paper is gone apparently um, and almost everything is gone too I think stores just restocked recently which is good but yeah it's always good to stock up on things that are important that you really need but just don't go overboard okay just get what you need plan the food and the accessories and toilet paper for like a couple weeks to a month don't overdo it you can easily go to the store and grab something real quick just as long as you uh, stay away from people and be very very cautious and careful and clean and I'm sure you, you'll be fine wear those face masks too if you have them but yeah I that's my view on the virus, and uh, thank you for the question, and the uh, next question. This one is from Dr. Curse, I think that's how you say it, and he said, what do you use to edit? I use VSDC Video Editor. Um, it's, it used to be a free service, and then eventually they made it so that you have to pay 20 bucks to get the full version for a year. So it's like a yearly subscription. Um, I think it's great. I never used the Adobe editing softwares. So I don't really know how well or how different they are from each other. Or how well VSDC compares to it. But I, I like VSDC. It does what I want to get done. And... It, it, it's kind of laggy and it can crash a couple times, but I I blame that on my, on my crappy laptop. It's very, very crappy. So, VSDC, I, I recommend it. 
you can play that you can use a trial version there there is a trial version you can download and it, it doesn't have like really key features like a uh, chroma key and movement and seeing a waveform to the audio but you can do some pretty good edits with it even with the trial version so next question x cabbage x asks will you answer this question huh i bet not no igneous asks what inspired you to start making youtube videos um a lot of things inspired me to be honest like one um it's it helps me stay grounded in my own home while, while at the same time being able to have and provide content and entertainment for other people you know because if you're having a hard time you're having a really really bad day you can just put up one of my videos and hopefully it'll cheer you up that even if it doesn't just the possibility of it might is all that i need to be honest and not only that but i've always wanted to create content whether it's making a video game or making animations um i just want to put creativity and ideas out there and starting a youtube channel and making youtube videos is one of the ways to do it and also it's it's really fun to be honest because uplo uploading one of my GTA videos that I take weeks and weeks on editing and upload it and hearing people's reactions to it, that's that's really that's really fun to hear. And doing streams where people join in, talk to me, and I have a chat with them, that's fun too. Uh, YouTube videos also helped me with my very very bad talking issue where I don't talk to anybody I'm very antisocial and it really really helped with that so a lot of things inspired me um, probably things that I haven't even mentioned in this video probably also pertains to it but yeah a lot of stuff I just want to entertain people I want to make people happy I want to cheer them up I want to give them some company when they don't have it uh, I want to be different from all the other youtubers where some of them feel very manufactured or too expressive i just want to be chill be relaxed like as if i'm sitting right next to you and i'm not hyping things up or being super super rambunctious or crazy i just want to be chill sometimes i get a little excited though <laughs> um especially if i'm playing with other people but if I'm just doing a let's play, if I'm just doing a stream, I'm pretty much chill, I'm pretty much relaxed. And I just enjoy my time. And that's... And that's good for other people that don't have friends, that don't have people to look to or be with. They'll always have YouTube videos to have company. Or even just to cheer them up or make them happy. And I, My main purpose was the hope for that. So yeah. I could have dialed that I could have dialed that answer down in like a sentence or two but yeah Say, saying what's on my mind answering the question and uh, yeah next question X cabbage X asks so uh, I remember you answering this question a while ago but I don't really remember what the answer was I only know that it had something to do with your brother but why did you choose your name to be SB2 boys 10 okay First of all, to be honest, I don't really like the name too much. It's very, very unique. It's very, very one of a kind. But it's kind of one of those things where, like, you won't really remember it all that much. Like, with people like PewDiePie or Markiplier, you recognize those names and then you're able to remember them. With my name, it's super complex that you probably won't even remember it. Um, so I don't really like it too much, but I like it enough to where, you know, it represents me. I've used it for so many accounts, but why did I choose it is a crazy story. Back in 2010, 
I used to have a Roblox account and I shared it with my brother. And when we created an account, um, I asked my mom what we should make the account. And she's like, you know what, let's just make it SB2 Boys 10. Where it's like S, my name, P, my brother's name, two boys, because, you know, and 10, because 2010, I was 10 at that time. And I'm like, okay, I'll do that. And I did it for the Roblox account. And I've just stuck with the name ever since. And I don't know why. For some reason, I just st stuck with it. Because why make 10,000 names? And plus, I couldn't really think of a, uh, another YouTube name that would be really catchy. In fact, while I'm in the middle of thinking about... Uh, I was thinking about changing the name, too. But uh, um, again, I couldn't think of a catchy one, version of it. Um, and SB2Boys10 is kind of like one of those names that you can turn into something else like SB2 something too many games too much something like that's it's something that you could turn into something else which is one of the positives of about it but I don't really know why I decided to stick around with this name of all names but I did and no. If people like it, thank you for that. If people don't, I understand. And speaking of Roblox, 83 Storms asked me, Hey yo, can you mess with me on Roblox and send you a friend request? My name is 83 Storms. I don't go on Roblox anymore. Last time I ran on Roblox was about four years ago. Wait. Four, yeah, about four years ago. Um, I did try to do a Roblox stream about two years ago using my phone. But it was only for like 10-15 minutes and I think I played like one game. Um, just to test it out. To see if it worked. But other than that, like... I haven't legit played Roblox in about 4 or 5 years. And I know there's been a lot of changes regarding that web uh, the website. Um, last time I played it, it was like... Less of a business than it is now, if that makes sense. But yeah, if if you message me on there, if you send me a friend request on there, I probably won't answer it. No, nothing against you, I just don't go on Roblox anymore. And I probably won't anytime soon. Maybe one day I, went, I might go back to it, but as of right now, I'm not going to. But yeah, that was... I, I, w back in the day, in my old Roblox, or in my old streams, people have asked me about Roblox and um, and I answered them so I appreciate you all asking about the Roblox stuff but yeah I don't really use it anymore and uh, I think that's all the questions I have for now that's that was only six questions but it's a good start um, it's a good way to start off my first one this is that the, this is my first Q&A and you know, I'm happy that you guys sent me questions. Not many of you, which I don't mind, but a decent amount of you asked me questions. This is the end of my Q&A, and I hope you all have an amazing day. I hope you all are staying safe, staying careful. I hope you all are having fun, having good days, even if you're locked away at home. And, yeah... Thank you all for watching. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. If you see so in the video, bless you. If you had a bad day, I hope this changed you up in some way. And uh, if you have a question, post a comment down below about that question. And I will answer it in the next one. Um, and even if you ask a question in another video, I'll answer it in the next one as well. But try to post it down in the comments of this video so that it's easier for me to find them. And... Uh, yeah. See ya.